is not about getting loud, but we do need power. I just wanted to detail a quick test to demonstrate what we're listening for when we compare different phones and mobile audio solutions. I recently wrote up a buying guide on DAX for your phone, and you can read that post on somegadgetguide.com. It's, it's pretty meaty, but in a world of iPhones that don't properly support Apple lossless, we have to fix our phones ourselves. One of the main points to detail in that article is when we talk about DAX, we really mean DAX and amps. There are some phones that have really powerful amps and some phones that have less powerful amps. Even if the DAC is putting out a higher quality, that headphone jack might not be powering your headphones as well. And I'm holding this phone up, I think this is a good example, would be a Sony Xperia. The DAC is high quality, does a great job with flack and lossless files, low noise, low distortion. This is all pretty good. But what about the amp? The amp on an Xperia is fine. No, no, really. It's fine. No, it's good. It's okay. I've got a ridiculous collection of earbuds. And the easiest way to show some differences is we can plug in different earbuds. When we look at the power required to make sound happen on consumer earbuds, usually those solutions have one driver per ear, single driver earbuds. And they usually use a single dynamic driver, which looks like a tiny, adorable little speaker cone. We can add additional drivers per ear. And when we talk about multi-driver earbuds, we're often talking about using smaller drivers called balanced armatures. Originally designed for hearing aids, these are smaller and lighter drivers than dynamic drivers. And they look like even tinier little sound boxes. We can use any combination of these drivers in earbuds. A single dynamic driver, a single balanced arm, multiple balanced arms, a hybrid of both a balanced balanced arm and a dynamic driver. A dynamic driver and three balanced arms, the sky's the limit. The more hardware we pack into an earbud though, might put a little more strain on the amp driving those earbuds. I'm grossly oversimplifying the physics. It's a little more complicated than just more drivers requires more powers, but certain designs, cabling resistance, and the combination of drivers can mean different volume outputs, from the same amp. As one example, some crazy earbuds. These are my CCA C16 with eight balanced arms per ear. Eight drivers in each ear. But balanced arms are little and don't need a ton of power to generate sound. On my Xperia, I find a comfortable listening volume is just under half of the total output of the phone. However, if I compare against my Mi Audio MX4, which uses one dynamic driver and three balanced arms per ear, it seems that larger driver with multiple balanced arms, it just needs a bit more oomph. And a comfortable listening volume for me is somewhere near the upper limit of the phone's total output. It's not as simple as one metric like impedance, or just making a rule that this kind of driver is thirstier than another. But when we talk about a phone or a media player having a weaker amp, this is one part of what we're describing. If you hook up something straightforward or more consumer focused audio solution, you're gonna be in great shape here. Even plugging in something exotic like my C16s, I was still doing great with this phone. And to bring this back to my little quip at the beginning of this video, it's not about just making playback louder. I'm not looking at amps to try and blow out your ears, especially as you get into nicer cabled audio solutions, listening at a lower, healthier volume, a more powerful amp should do a better job of properly driving those thirstier headphones and reproducing the full spectrum of sound you'd want to hear in higher quality music files. Audio is still this wonderful, magically delicious analog voodoo. So I hope this helped explain one small part of how all this stuff works. And thank you for coming to my tech talk. Please do all that stuff you're supposed to do, you know, with the subscribing and such underneath this video. And I'll catch y'all on the next explainer.